looks like people are still arriving. I'll give a few more minutes before uh, before getting started here. I think you should have change your display name to Oz for the day. O Oz for the day, huh? So instead of once upon a time? Uh, something like that. All right. A um, couple minutes after, I think it seems to have seems to have uh, the arrivals seem to have slowed down. Uh, so, like I mentioned earlier, I'm uh, I am uh, I am your Oz for the day. Um, let's see. The uh, really there there are only two bits of news. Uh, the fir the first is uh, we we recently. Uh, yes, Oz du jour. Uh, we recently rolled a server uh, change out that will uh, that will f uh, prevent uh, prevent you from uh, from checking IM to email if you have an unverified email address. Uh, that is the first stage in uh, in only sending to verified email addresses. Uh, the uh, that is going to be fo that is going to be followed uh, in I believe the next main with a viewer that enables and disables the uh, the checkbox in the in the preferences screen. The, um, it switches from using the UDP information into a into a cap, and so there will be there will be code available. Uh, to to bring that into the viewers. Uh, the other piece of news is there is no meeting next week, or not next week, but uh, two weeks from now. The, the next meeting will be on uh, November 3rd. Um, with that, I can uh, open the floor. Sixty-four bits are are actually progressing. We're working on some. Uh, we are working on uh, on a potential fix for some of the the texture crashes.
Um, I know there is a I know there is a voice update. Uh, I don't know what its schedule is. You, uh, I'm I'm going to defer that to Oz. He's a little he's a little more up to he's a little more versed on what's going on with that project. Define escape functions for me, please. Uh, I'm not sure what you. I'm not sure what you mean, Anamarf. Uh, uh, updates to the estate panel so that uh, it was easier to work with, and you could possibly uh, see more than four people on the ban list at a time. Stuff like that. I remember seeing something about that. You don't have to have a Jira handy, would you? Uh, I don't know. But, uh, I'm trying my Google Foo. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I was there. told that it's now in Alexa's hands. So. Uh, the request for changing the estate panel. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not seeing a Jira, so I can't. So I'm not. There are a couple. Of, I've got a couple that that have some uh, some references to to state panels, but nothing. But uh, yeah, yeah. I am. I'd have to I'd have to do some um, with that with it. oh Whirly is Whirly is searching Whirly Foo is processing. Yeah, okay. My, my request actually went in via an email. Oz actually requested an email from me, um, which I sent him a short email with some requests. But uh, I'll be bugging Alexa, Annie, so yeah. I don't sweat it too much. So those are the, those are, those are, uh, the, yeah, th those are the issues I know about. Is there, uh, is there, is there anything else? Oh, come on, folks. This is going to be two quick meetings in a row for me. I don't think there was, actually, I think that was uh, Jonathan's suggestion at uh, one of the meetings, was it not, Worley?
So, good question, Beck. I have no idea. I don't even know what issue it was. Um, that was the one. It was adding lots and lots of uh, of uh, uh, slash z z uh, slash zos. I think to the uh, to the page. There, there is progress on that. I don't know what. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a it was a change to the uh, CMake files. I am reading those now, Whirly. So I do not, in answer to the ban, uh, it does not look like there is a ban, uh, a banlet ban list size change uh, that's currently going into uh, that's that's currently been done so I don't think that will be in the next mate no it's a project that's in the that's just basically getting started from what I understood yeah I'll poke Alexa. Yeah. Working on it, Lyndon. Well, Gr Grumpy did say that it was getting some love, but then there were a couple issues that came up, so the people that were looking at it got pulled off to do something else, and you know the way things go. Exactly. That happens to me. That happens to me all the time. Well, when the when the when the choice is at, between adding a new feature and and rescuing the horses before they die, we'll rescue the horses. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Uh, three three sixty snapshot is 
there uh, there was actually something that came up with that uh, in our um, meeting this morning. Uh, there's potential uh, sim house change to to the interest list that will uh, that will greatly improve it. Yes, that's that's pretty much what the uh, what the change they're talking about. Uh, Do we? <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, do we? Do we have anything else? Or? All right, Nuhan.
in world posing. Um, no, that does not ring. That does uh, not ring a bell. That looks that looks pretty cool. Um, I do not know exactly what Oz wants. Um, I do I do not know what exactly Oz wants. Um, Do you have a? Uh, I am. I am not sure what the. Uh, I'm unsure. Is, is that just a, a local on the viewer, or does it uh, does it have? Uh, um, okay. My my recommendation is if you if you don't know what what uh, what exactly Oz wants for that, just shoot him an email and and say uh, what do you want? Do you want a roadmap for this, or do you want a, a code pull? Um, uh, and and just get some, just get some clarity from him. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm, I, you, uh, you can certainly, uh, you can certainly send him a, send him a link.
Well, you know, if it's in if it's if it's in the viewer, then it uh, then the functionality can be can be modified. Anyway, to, to uh, cut this off at the knees, um, my advice is send, uh, uh, send Oz a, a note and ask him what it is he, if you're unclear on, on what he wants from you uh, regard, regarding this feature, send him an email and, and ask, and I'm sure he can, uh, give, you more, he can give you more clarity. I think puppeteering was a little different, wasn't that? Uh, wasn't that uh, control of of the of the avatar through uh, uh, basically hand device? You could you could uh, move your av you could move your avatar based on body tracking, if I remember right. That's a bit crazy to say there's no reason to buy poses. I mean, there's like tons of motion capture. You can't do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm getting too lazy to write. Um, man, the thing is, motion capturing an animation is something completely different. I'm not talking about animations. I'm talking purely about poses, like completely static poses. And making a completely static pose is, at least in the pose I currently, really not that hot. It is so stupidly easy. It just takes a little bit of time because you have to move around a lot of sliders. Well, a lot of bones, depending on what you want to pose, but you can make the perfect pose that is perfectly matched for your avatar, no matter your avatar. 
So, uh, okay, uh, okay, but isn't this getting out of the scope of the meeting? Yeah, yeah, we're we're sort of we're sort of wandering uh, wandering a field. Um, just to just to cut it, let's let's just cut this off now. If you have que if you have questions, uh, Neron, uh, send Oz an email. Ask him. Well, I'll just say I'm not against it. I, I love the idea, actually. But it's not going to replace, you know, motion capture. Any other, any other, any other topics? I got a few, but I won't be talking about them today. Time back? Uh, I think we get time back. Thank you, Ryder. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Wow. That was a boring meeting. Catch you all later, folks. Poof. <laughs>